Hello, today I'm going to show you the Tramposki attack. Octavio Tramposki was a Brazilian player in the 20th century, so a Seba do Brasil. So let's see how it goes. D4, Knight F6, G5, this is called the Tramposki attack. E6, we pin as Knight, E4, we take the center, H6, trying to get rid of our pin, we exchange, Knight C3. Bishop b4 pins our knight, and we go queen d3. Here, there's two main moves. The first one is d5. If he goes d5, we castle, he castles, knight b1, bishop c3, e5. We don't take the bishop just yet, we attack the queen, and then we take the bishop. e7, take the bishop c3, b6, preparing an attack in the middle, we also go with pawn f4, bishop a4, bishop a6, we exchange our bishops, g4, c5, attacks our pawn, we go queen h3, takes on d4, we go g5, this is a good move because if he takes, we have a free lane for the queen to attack. Ho ho ho, guys. I'm Santa and I want to make an announcement. I'm subscribed to Alex Chess and I want to say he is the best chess YouTuber out there. Now, if any of you are not subscribed, I will put you in the naughty list forever. Anyway, subscribe to Alex Chess and keep liking his videos. Happy New Year's. Whoa! G5, Knight F3, takes on F4, and we use our rook. In this position, it's a much better attack for white because, as we can see, we have two good rooks, a queen that's active, and a very active knight. Black has a weak knight that can't really go anywhere. But if on d3, he castles, we go knight e2, interesting move, d6, he prepares to attack in the middle, we go f4, look at this amazing pawn structure, three pawns that are controlling most of the area, in the middle, e5 tries to de delete the spawn structure, we exchange, we castle, f4, we sacrifice a pawn, d5, and we fork the bishop and queen. d6, e5, we attack the queen, queen c5, a3, a5, and b4. And here, wherever the rook tries to go, we have a great attack on the rook, so we captured the bishop.